Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play series. Woo! Okay, now first things first, I want to show you what I've been working on in the inside of this building. Aha, uh -huh, over here. I've done a lot of work, so let's see what is inside, shall we? Okay, so the first thing you'll see is the main lobby. And in the main lobby, I put my storage room here. Now, my storage room is here because it is the most convenient place in the whole structure to be. And so if I ever need any supplies, they're very easy to grab. If I need wood or stone or anything, uh, it's all right here. And it's all organized, so that is very nice. Then over to the left, I have my enchanting setup. And I have some, I have some armor displayed here. And my enchantment table, some lapis and books, everything you might need for a enchanting setup. Yes. Okay, now let's get to the next level. So just to quickly explain, this elevator is incredibly simple. So if I want to get to any floor, all I have to do is hold down W, and it'll allow me to enter any floor that I want. So, for example, let's say I want to get to the floor just right above this one, then I'll go inside the elevator, and immediately turn around and press W. So let me show you. And there you go. Easy as that. Now, if I wanted to go to the third floor, I would just wait and go up and then press W. I'll show that to you in a moment. But right now, I want to show you the second floor. And of course, out here we have a little outlooking area. I'll make this look pretty later. And over to the right we have our potion lab Woo, fascinating there's some pots some potions laying around not anything too practical here yet but i am planning to do some potion making later so this room will come in handy in the future now on the left is just a little dining area to look outside look at our beautiful pet chicken and all that nice jazz. I use granite and jungle for the roof. Yes. Here is a normal basic bedroom. I didn't really know what to do with this room, so I just made it a bedroom. If you have any ideas as to what I can do for practical value in a normal Minecraft vanilla world, then that would be fantastic. But I do have more than one bedroom, so that's why I mentioned that. Okay, so here's this bookcase. Nice little desk. If you're wondering how I got the heads, there's a website where you can download the data packs tweaks, and it just allows you to obtain items that you normally wouldn't be able to obtain in survival vanilla Minecraft. Yes. Now let's go to the next floor. Oh man, this is the third floor. It's not that different from the second floor except for the roof where I had the beams coming across and you'll see why I did that. So this floor is pretty simple. In the right we just have the loft area or the attic and up there is the lookout tower. That you can see from the exterior, you can actually go up it. Down over here is just another bedroom. Uh, nothing extraordinary here, just some wardrobe, some beds. Same with this one. Not really sure what to do with this room, so if you have any ideas, I would appreciate them. Okay. And over here, not too much going on, just the same as the second floor. Now let's go to the fourth floor. On the fourth floor, we have the major dining room, which is basically where the owners of the house would sit to eat and have wonderful cake. Uh -huh. Over here is just a little storage compartment. Just to store anything like a closet. Up here is just another attic kind of loft area but a little bit more simplified, a little bit smaller than the last one. Nothing too complicated. And let's head to the roof. 
On the roof here, I didn't make many changes from the initial exterior design, except for these entrance and exits to be able to get through the building. And here is just normal, nothing crazy. Now I want to explain a little bit more about the elevator. Oh no, we gotta go to bed. Bedtime, good. Okay, so I already explained how the elevator system works. Now I'm going to show you how it works, okay? Let's say I want to get to the third floor, right? So I just go in here, and then what I basically did is I didn't press W on floor 2, but I pressed W on floor 3, so I can pop out, and I'm at floor 3. I just found it as a super easy and convenient way to be able to have a multi-leveled house and having an elevator that takes a very little amount of space and having absolutely no redstone. The only downside is that you do need two elevators, one to go up and one to go down. Okay, now let's talk about what I'm going to do in this particular episode. I have a basic plan and that is to do a little bit of building on the outside courtyard since it's not really a courtyard yet is it it's, it's just kind of kind of basic kind of empty so just one moment i'll gather some planning supplies to plan out how the courtyard will look now we have our planning supplies which is just some cyan concrete that i have now, I was thinking that we would just have a pathway that would come away from here, and then we would have a bit of a area where we have a fountain, just like a circle area. It's not a perfect circle, but we'll iron out the details later. Okay, then I did want pathways if I wanted to, where I could put a barn somewhere, or if I wanted another place to put resources or other kinds of farms, then I could do that. I feel like a pathway leading through here would be good. I also wanted to put a pond or small lake kind of right here okay I'm back with some oak signs oh yeah now let's put a sign here and put small lake okay there we go now what else do we want to put around here well it would look excellent on the front of our house now I think right here what we should have is a little bench area. So maybe this goes out, then ends with maybe like a half circle. And then on the left there's going to be the bench which is going to be next to the tiny little lake area. Then over here we'll have a bench that looks over the forest and maybe a custom tree here, there, you know, whatever feels good. Okay. And I think that for this next part, I'm going to have a little time lapse. And for me, it's going to be a while, but for you, it'll just be a few short seconds. So let's get right into that.
Oh man, the time lapse is all done. Let's see it now completed. Wow, look at all this wonderful stuff, guys. We have the fountain, we have the tree, and oh, the bridge. It looks fantastic. I really like this bridge. It's very nice. Makes it so I can get over my river that I made. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and I left these pathways incomplete because I'm going to be adding things over here and over there. I just don't have a clear idea as of what yet, but eventually I'll get that sorted out. But in the meantime, let me show you my favorite little build, and that is the statue of the bear. Now, the main reason why I built this bear is one, it looks really cool, and two, is because I need somewhere to put my nether portal that wasn't just out in the open. The nether portal doesn't really fit my theme too well of the grassy nature kind of Victorian slash modern slash multiple different things. It's steampunk, basically. It's a, there's a lot of different things going on. <laughs> but essentially it's steampunk. And the nether portal didn't really fit that vibe too well or I couldn't really figure out how to do it with the portal frame itself. So I decided just to make a bear statue and put it in the ground so it's not easily visible. Oh yeah. Okay. And now that this is complete, let me show you over here to get a better view. Oh man. Well, it looks way better than it did before. Wow. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is... If you couldn't tell already, I have all this diamond gear. Oh, destruction. All this is diamond. You know, I don't have any netherite stuff, so I figured what we do next is go into the nether and get some netherite ore and be able to make some netherite ingots so I can get better armor and better tools. Okay. So now we're down at level 13, and the mining method that I'm going to be doing is just the normal tunneling method you do for diamonds. Uh, when I meet more of a netherite patch, I'll probably do a bit more like fan mining like this, just to kind of go a little bit faster. Hopefully I don't die to lava. but. I guess we'll see. Now let's turn our time over to the time lapse. Woo! Oh boy, we're back from our nether trip. Let's see how much ancient debris we have. We have 26. So let's see how many bars that will make. I'll make one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. Well, let me get this toasted up and then we'll see what things I'll upgrade. Now that all of our netherite scrap is all Nice and smelted. Let's get our gold. I don't have too much gold in there, but I have some more in here. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's craft this up. So I've only made this like once or twice before. So let's let's look it up. Nether, right ingots. 
six. Six netherite ingots. Oh man. Put a gold over here. Put a thing over here. Now let's see what we want to upgrade. So I think first things first, we need to do our pickaxes, and I have some of the tool bench upgrade thingies up in my ceiling, because why not? Okay, let's do irony two. Oh man, gonna be another right pick. Cool yo. Let's do our pinky finger. Oh man, look how much more durability that is. So 1,000 to 2,000. So that's 500 more durability. Very cool. Now, let's see. We have four more left, but I really want to do my hoe because that gives you an achievement. And these, I don't really need to upgrade these right now. So let's do chest plates, leggings, boots, and then the hoe. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. Gotta get our feetsies. Now the right boots. Now the right chest plate. Netherite leggings, and then... Netherite hoe. Look at that! Serious dedication! Oh, yeah! That's awesome. I never got that before, so that's pretty cool. I can put on my mostly complete netherite armor. And now you may be asking yourself, why didn't you just get enough netherite to do everything? Well, it's because the way... I did my netherite mining. I actually switched to using beds because beds exploded in the nether, which is convenient for trying to mine netherites. Uh, here is a bed right here. But I ran out of beds and I ran out of wool, so that's why I stopped. Eventually, I'll get more netherites once I'm able to make a proper wool farm or just get more wool normally from my sheep farm. And then I'll be able to complete everything. But until then, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, now, the next thing that I wanted to do today in this episode, I mean, is that I wanted to make a mob farm. Ooh. Now, the main reason why I need a mob farm is because... I need tons and tons of gunpowder. I don't have any gunpowder because I don't have a mob farm. And the reason I need gunpowder is because I need to fly with my elytra, which is in here, I believe. Yeah. Because right now I'm just killing creepers on the land at night, and that's really, really inefficient. So, my first step to doing the mob farm is that. Interestingly enough, I need some animals because there's the traditional mob farms where you use water flow to knock the mobs off of the dark platforms and then collect their drops. So that's boring. That's super easy to make and just honestly would not be very fun for you to watch. So I decided I'm going to make a mob farm using animals since cats scare away creepers and I'm pretty sure dogs scare away something. I haven't totally looked into it but what I need is some cats right now. So I'll meet you at a village and I'll have some fish and we'll see if I can get any cats. We're at a village and we have some fish. Oh yeah. Now, where is the cat? Let's look around. Yeah, I don't see any cats anywhere. Well, there is one other village we can go to to see if we can find any cats. Let us go over there. Uh -huh. We are at the other village. Now let's see if we can find any cats around here, hopefully. 
Ah. I found a cat. Oh, oh, I found two cats. So this is perfect. I need a ton of cats. So this is great. Ah. But let's see if we can get our little cat friends. Ah. Come on here, cat. Come on here, cat. Ah. Oh, perfect. Ah. Okay, let's see if we can get the other cat too. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Come here, cat. Kitty, kitty, cat. Oh, it's running away. Come on. Where'd it go? I need this cat so bad. <laughs> no! Come on, cat. Come here, cat. Kitty cat. Ow! Oh, kitty cat! Oh, got it. Too much fish. Okay, now let's take this cat. Come here. Come here, kitty cat. Kitty cat. Oh, I like cats. Cats are great. Come here, cat. Come on. Okay, come on over here. Come on, move. Perfect. Let's. Breed these cats. Now I have a tiny cat. Yeah! <laughs> oh, tiny cat. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get these over to the base and then we'll, we'll continue from there. We're back at the base and we have our three lovely, amazing cats. Which needs to be breeded up to have enough to go into the mob farm. But unfortunately, that is all the time that I have for this episode. And thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. And I'll see you in the next one where we'll get that mob farm all done and complete. See ya! Bye!